Now, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about how we went from $1,000 to $100,000 in our first year in the trash business. And we're also gonna talk about how we take payment when we take payment and let you know how we do that. So if you're new to the channel, I'm Matt Vick. This is the Jojo Lena and we've been in business for four and a half years. And on this channel, we motivate you to start working for yourself living for yourself and living the life that you want to live. So if this sounds interesting to you, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our other videos because we have over 500 videos that show you step by step how we changed our life. We've been doing this business for four years and now we have our very own employee and if you haven't met him yet this is the Julio hi guys <laughs> and he'll be with us today helping us do our jobs having an employee makes this job so much easier so we are at the first job of the day and this person found us on Facebook so that's one thing you definitely want to do when you start a business any business is make sure you are on all the free social platforms and that'll make your phone to ring and you'll get more jobs. So here's the job. These couches right here go, and then we got a whole bunch of stuff in the backyard that goes too, if you guys can see. Pretty much all this trash along the fence goes. And yeah. So all this stuff right here goes, and all that stuff over there goes. So we definitely got a full load here. And there's another couch inside the garage that goes too. So we gotta stack this one real nice. You ready, Julio, or what? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's get it. just like that about 30 minutes later job is complete and something you always want to do at every single job is try to upsell they actually added a mattress and two box springs which we charge more money for that so we made a killing on this one guys yeah and we charge more money for that because they charge you more money at the landfill so how do we take payment we get this question asked a lot so what we do is we accept payment when the job is complete when the customer is happy we have all the stuff loaded actually we do agree on the price before we start definitely do that don't you don't want to hit your customer with a surprise this is how much it is we do let them know the price before but when the job is completely done we take payment that's when we do it. And we accept checks unless people are moving. We don't do that. And also people often pay with a credit card and we use a Clover reader. And also if they're not there, sometimes we'll do a job and the customer's not even there, they pay over the phone. And you know, when that happens, we just punch in their credit card information. People love the flexibility of being able to pay with a credit card so if you don't have a card reader definitely get one because you're missing out people love paying with their credit card and also have your tip option on because you'll make extra money doing that we didn't have our tip option on and now it is and cha -ching, are we getting more money and you won't believe how much tips we got this week julio we actually killed it huh been killing it this weekend been killing it and it's only gonna get better in the springtime and the only time we ever take a down payment is when a job's super big and it's multiple 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 i'm saying a huge job we'll take a down payment to save our asses and cover our asses other than that julio what's your prediction of the down fee on this one right here i gotta say 80 80 80 jojo 
75. 75? Damn, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to say $72.50. Oh. 50. 50. 50. 50. <laughs> okay. $50 bill. $50 bill. So we're heading to the dumps right now. And uh, yeah, you guys ready? Yeah, leave a comment down below if you know what movie that's from. $50 bill. $50 bill. Just let us know. Do you know? I don't. Do you? Do you guys know? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> so we're in there now. <laughs> $249 for that pile? All right, not like $279. $279? <laughs> Close to $349. He said $349. <laughs> I think $279 to $259 ain't bad, Julio. That's like, what, a three minute job? And it's uh, fluffy too. That will fit in there super easy and we can crush that down, Julio. That'll make it easier than the little small branches that we usually are uh, picking up. Hell yeah. So, Julio, what's the gas prices out here in California right now? Regular is 469 for the plus it's uh 489 and for diesel uh 559 559 for diesel and check this out true story i tried to get a job here back in the day at rotten robbie's they gave me an interview and guess what happened they never called me back hey it's better for you though because look where you're at now oh yeah for sure i had to start my own business no one would give me a chance so i had to start my own business so yeah never give up and always believe in yourself I'm making more money now than I used to make at my old job all month in one day, which is crazy, <laughs> which is crazy. It's a win-win. It's a win-win. <laughs> Yo, daddy, and it was my favorite number, 69. $69, how's it feel to lose, guys? It's okay. <laughs> Is it okay? It's all good. How's yeah. it feel, Jojo? It's fine. I don't mind not winning. I don't need to win. I need to win every day. I don't care what they say. <laughs> I want to be a winner, straight up. I want to be a winner. A winner. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit of trash real quick. Some of you viewers might be like, damn, they got a nice dump truck. They got a nice house. They're lucky. Actually, let me tell you like this. Four years ago, we were working, I was working two jobs. The JoJo was working three jobs. I was working anywhere from 14 to 16 hours a day. I was telling the Julio I'd work my normal job until 8.30 in the morning. So from midnight to 8.30 in the morning, I would do that job, get off work there, then start hauling some trash. So something you definitely gotta do if you wanna make 100 grand or 200 grand or 300 grand a year, you gotta sacrifice and put in the work and not wait for shit to fall on your lap. Jojo, did you not work your ass off too? I did, I had really, really long days when I worked for the school. I was up at 5.30 and then when the school was done, I had another job at a lodge that I went to. And sometimes we had events and they were done at like 10 o'clock at night and then I would come home. So yes, you have to sacrifice to make stuff happen. But you know what? Your life is not gonna change unless you make a change. And check this out, the Julio right now, this man is working seven days a week. He is putting in the work, he is stacking his money, and he sets some goals and he's going after them. How's it feel, Julio? It feels good. Like you guys are saying, you gotta sacrifice sometimes. Cause in order to get to what you want in the future, you gotta sacrifice the time now to get, you know, what you want later on in the future. And that's what I'm talking about. So make sure if you guys like this video, smash that like button and we're heading to the next job. So we are at the next job of the day and this person found us on a Google search.
lighten the load with this big old stove fire pit thingy thing whatever the hell it is and check out what the julio got the find of the day for all of his kids check this out they got nerf guns for days julio you got a whole damn bag how's it feel they're gonna like that and i also got a uh, thomas the train set too so check it out oh yeah they're gonna like that too huh the julio be coming up every single day you never know what you find if you got kids perfect this is a perfect business to get into because you find toys books anything sometimes you can just bring home for your kids goodwill right now getting rid of some things not only is it great for the environment and it helps other people but it also lightens your load so you pay less at the dump so here's the next job of the day we got this tarp right here and then that metal thing over there that needs to go we'll take all jobs big jobs small jobs all jobs Grab the quest egg. We got some turkeys over here. You guys ready for Thanksgiving? <laughs> we um, got turkeys for sale. Check it out. Especially on the prices of eggs nowadays. Turkey eggs. Turkey eggs. We got turkey eggs for sale, guys. So job is complete. And here's the scenario. We showed up. We gave the lady the full load price. And she didn't want to do that. She had a budget of a little bit of cash so we took what her budget was and we're at the next job now and jojo where are we at we are in oakmont my favorite place for jobs and guess what the julio is gonna price this job out so we're gonna walk in here we're gonna let him do his thing and see how many loads he thinks it is then me and jojo will do the same stuff and we'll let him answer first and then we'll give him our answers so julio you better not fail on us right now. I gotta get an ace. <laughs> you better. You failed your last test last time. I think you got a D, huh? Yeah, and you could do it too. As we're showing you what has to go, maybe you can calculate how many loads you think it will be. It might be just a load. It might be two loads. It might be a load and a half, Julio. So everything goes, but the washer, the dryer, and the refrigerator stays. So you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. And the good thing is, it's a real, we got this job, or we might be getting this job from a real estate agent. And we dropped off some candy dishes there, and that's how we got the job. Ooh. Ooh. Another, there's Ooh. another tip. If Ooh. you haven't done that yet, definitely do that. Visit all the realtors in your area. Bring little candy dishes with your business cards and introduce yourself, and you will definitely get jobs. <laughs> So take a look guys, let's check out the house. The first thing I do whenever I give an estimate is I start on one side of the house. So I'll walk over here, check everything out over here. We got a bed, some box springs, some stuff up here in the closet. We got a rug. I'll walk in the bathroom, check all the cabinets, look at everything. And I'll keep walking around the house and just calculate everything in my head, how many loads it's gonna be. So we got this couch, we got that, we got some more pillows, got a little stool, open all the cabinets and double check. We got a couple hangers and over here, we got some more beds and then check it out. We got a couch, a chair, some big rugs, some more chairs. And then in the kitchen, we'll check every single cabinet door to see what's in there. All the drawers. The refrigerator stays. 
the washer and dryer stays. Then over here, nothing in there, nothing in there. Then over here, the car stays. But all this stuff right here goes. All this stuff goes. These are taped shut. We ain't got to worry about that. Those ones are too. Then in the backyard, there's some patio furniture that goes too. And this is actually resellable. We can definitely sell those. A couple chairs. So leave a comment. What do you guys think? How many loads? We got one little cushion right there. And that's pretty much it. On the other side of the house, there's nothing over there. So yeah, leave a comment down below. How many loads do you guys think it's gonna be? And look at the Julio, he's over here dreaming about being a golfer. If I ever retire, I'm gonna buy a house over here. Next to the golf course and everything, look at this. They're all enjoying golf over there. And there's also some fishing ponds over here too. So Julio, what do you think? I think two. Two? Two. Jojo? Yeah. Yep, I think between one and a half and two loads. And I think you guys are right. Yeah, because you had on these couches that are pretty big. You got that couch that's pretty big. The mattresses, you got this bed boy over here too. Pretty big stuff. And just little things that are around, but. And we also have uh, some really big rugs that are gonna get rolled up. And these things right here are super heavy too. <clears throat> So just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we're done for the day. And I do believe we beat the rain. I believe it's coming. And the JoJo has something she wants to say. Well, just remember, it does not matter where you are in life. Because check it out. Eight years ago, probably maybe nine years ago, I was walking down the street smoking a cigarette. I threw the cigarette on the ground and I burnt the bottom of my foot when I tried to put the cigarette out because I was doing so bad, I had holes in my shoes. So if I can change my life, you can too. Just don't believe in the naysayers. Don't believe in people saying you're gonna waste your time trying to invest in yourself, invest in yourself, because the long term, it's better. Remember, smash the like button, hit subscribe, and if you haven't yet, check out our other videos because they just might motivate you to start working for yourself.